Hi, this is Carlton Cullens, and welcome to the Blue Sky Strong Box. So what I want to do today is I want to talk about posture and I want to show you a bunch of random images that I pulled off the internet. Some of them are ridiculous, some of them are fun, but just to get you thinking and opening up your mind, you need, we all need to pay attention to what we are doing in our lives every day, particularly our posture, because if we don't pay attention, bad things are going to happen. What we call normal and abnormal is getting skewed so fast, you've got to open your eyes and pay attention. We have a lot to do and a lot to say about that, but if you don't get on it, Things are going to happen that you won't be able to reverse by the time you're older, and I don't want anybody to end up like this poor fellow. So what I want to do today is kind of talk about a normal day for a lot of us, sadly. So a lot of us wake up in the morning, maybe not like this guy, but maybe more like this. We're in a fetal position all night. It's time to go to work, so we put our clothes on. Wait a minute, maybe, maybe not like that. Maybe more like this guy. But then we need some breakfast, so we sit down and we actually don't eat breakfast. We text and we don't pay attention to anything. Then we get in our car and we drive aimlessly to work. It's boring, so we, maybe we mess around on our phone. And then we finally get to work and we hunker down and we get in that really bad sitting posture because it's early in the morning and you're drinking coffee. But maybe you've got some errands to run, so you've got to get back in your car again. Maybe you've got a meeting you need to text in. Maybe you've got somewhere you need to drive and text, and, and then you go back to work and you wait for lunch. It's time now to sit in your car and drive again and go somewhere and get on your phone and not even pay attention. And then you get back in the car and sit again so you can get back to work and sit again and wait for the clock to finally click down so you can get in your car and sit again. And then you're about to pass out because you've been sitting all day so you do something to get your mind off of it. And then you get home and you just want to sit down for a little bit and take a load off. And then you remember it's January and you made a promise that you go to the gym. So you get in your car and sit some more. Then you get to the gym and maybe you sit some more. And maybe you hunch your back some more of this exactly what you don't need to do because you will end up this way permanently. But you want to get some body fat off your stomach so you do some crunches. But they don't really work. They really don't. And you saw some guy doing that so you do that. And then don't ever, don't ever be this guy. But maybe you want to sit down again and you want to do some, some bicep curls. Maybe you get brave and you want to do something idiotic like this. Don't ever do this. That's a total crazy. But maybe you want to do some crunches because you think you want to get that fat off. You sit down some more to do some leg presses because you got to work the legs, right? And then maybe some more abs. Why not? Then it's time. The workout's done. You get in your car and you sit again and drive home and you find, find some non-quality time with the people that you love and you don't even pay attention half the time. This is what we do. And you sit down on the couch and you hunker down and you take a load off finally. And then you just drift off aimlessly into oblivion. And before long, you're just clunked out. And before long, your day starts all over again. This is so many Americans. This is, I'm, I'm doing exaggerating to prove a point, but you need to pay attention. I need to pay attention. We all need to pay attention because things happen very fast. First and foremost, get off the phone. We need to look up and look around. It's a beautiful world we live in. Don't end up like this guy. When you stand up, stand up straight. It's very important. When you sit, sit up tall. Don't end up like this because if you do, you might not be able to reverse it when you're older. When you go to work out, try not to sit down. Try to stand up. Try not to do crunches and things that put you in a fetal position. And don't ever, don't ever be this guy. Sit up and stand up straight so we don't end up like this poor fellow. Work the muscles on the back of your body. All these in this picture are important, particularly your hips. Your hips are most important. Learn to do planks like this young lady. Learn to do floor bridges. Anybody can do these. They're good for your glutes. Learn to do a dead a deadlift if you can do it. Deadlifts are very, very important for most people. Uh, and if anybody asks you what muscles they work, you just tell them all of them. Most of us would be better off if we pulled more and rode more. It's a lot better than pushing because most people, when they do push, they have shoulder injuries that they're making worse. So do do more pulling if, you've, if you're going to do anything. Because all the muscles on the back of your body are important because they, they are what keep us upright and tall so we can last and be strong when we're older and overcome all the obstacles that we have to overcome. We can do this. We have a lot of say and a lot of things that we can do about it, but you have to make the choice to do that. I wish you all the best. Think about this stuff. Think about it every day. I will have more on this next week, and I will see you soon.